Hey guys, I'm back. And today I'm going to make fried pork chops. As you can see, I have already washed my pork chops and I wanted to show you guys how I season them. I use garlic, Tony Saturese, complete, and onion powder. Now I don't quite have measurements for this. I just lightly season my, um, my pork chops. Maybe I could come up with some measurements, but this is what I do. I just lightly take the seasoning and I just sprinkle it over the pork chops. Um, you want to make sure that you put enough because you want them to taste like something. You don't just want them to be bland pork chops because good pork chops have good seasoning. And this is a good time to cut your stove on to get that grease nice and hot. And then you just lightly go over the pork chops with the seasonings. Very light. Um, and then I also put seasoning in the flour. So once you do one side, then you just flip the pork chops over and you do the other side. I'm gonna wash my hands really quick because I don't want pork chop meat on my seasoning bottles. So you're just gonna go ahead you're gonna do the other side as well. And like I said, don't be afraid to, you know, put the seasoning on the pork chops because you want all of the meat to taste really good. Really, really good. And the reason I put, um, seasoning inside of the flour is because I want them to be well seasoned. So if I miss something over here, it's going to be in that flour. You can bet, believe that. It's going to make it taste really, really tasty and really, really good. So after you do that, you season everything. You want to make sure that your flour, I put my flour in a, like a Ziploc bag. And then I just take, let me show you guys what I do. I just take the seasoning. Ooh, can't get that open. I take the seasoning. And I just sprinkle, sprinkle a little in there. And I take each one of the seasonings and I do it the same way with each one. I just sprinkle just a teensy bit in there so that the pork chops are well seasoned. And then I take the bag and I shake it around like this. Very easy to do. So when you get ready to um, dredge your pork chops, you just take one, you put it in the bag, and then you just move it around. And you don't have to worry about if the flour is going to get on there because it is. You don't have to worry about if you didn't put enough seasoning because whatever seasoning you didn't put on the pork chops, they're going to be in this bag. So I'm just going to give the grease a little bit more time to heat up and then I'll be right back to show you how to test your grease to know whether it's hot enough. I'll be right back. Hey y'all, I'm back with the pork chops. So what you do is to test to see if the grease is hot enough, you take just a little pinch of flour and, uh oh, you can't even see, hold on. Take a little pinch of flour and you put it in your grease. If it's sizzling like so, then you know that it's ready. So you just shake the pork chop like this, and then you place it, you place it in the grease, okay? Then you're gonna get another pork chop, put it in the bag, 
You do the same. You repeat the steps again. You just shake it real good. Like so. Then you take the pork chop and you shake it in the bag. And you take it and you place it in the grease. Don't be afraid of the grease either. But sometimes you get, you know, some people get afraid of the grease and they just plop the, the pork chop down into the grease. And then you can cause that um, grease to splatter on you. And nobody wants to be burned, okay? That does not feel good. I've been burned a few times cooking and uh, it did not feel good. I have my stove on a medium temperature. You don't want to do high because you don't want to cook it too quick. So I just make sure I do it on a medium and then I just let them cook. While I'm waiting on that, I'll get a, a paper plate and some paper towels to put on the paper plate to catch the grease once they're done. So I just line my paper plate like so with the paper towel so that when I get ready to take them out of the torch out, out of the grease everything will be ready to go. I also have a pair of tongs. If you like to use tongs, you can. Or you can use a fork. Whatever you choose. And I just wait for them to start to turn brown. So they will turn brown here pretty quick because the grease is hot. We don't eat pork chops often. We eat them every now and again. Um, we usually eat chicken, fish, you know, things like that. But pork chops is a rare meat that I cook. Very rare. I don't cook it often. So you just flip them over. It's very easy. If you have tongs, you can just flip. You can just flip them over, just like so. Very easy. And you just put them down in there, in that grease, and you let that grease cook. So I'm going to move the cutting board over so I can bring the camera closer for you guys to see. Get y'all down in that pan with those pork chops. And don't worry about it. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna do what they're gonna do. They're gonna cook, and when you get done, they're gonna be so tasty and so good. Now, I don't pre put the um, flour on there because that's they get kind of gooey. I just wait until after. Um, these are done and then I'll put the flour on the other. Now you can flip them over a few times just to check to make sure that they're cooking, you know, good. And just let them cook. And that's really all you do when you're making pork chops. Just watching them, having the time and the patience, season flour. Have a hot skillet, test the grease and make sure that it's hot. And then you're good to go. So I'm going to finish frying these pork chops. And once they're done, I'll plate them up for you to see them. All right, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back. And here is the finished product of the pork chops. It's four pork chops here. And like I said, all you have to do is just make sure you season them very good. Look at the smoke still coming off of them. And uh, put flour on them. Make sure your grease is hot. And then your pork chops will be delicious and ready to go. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Be good.